got another windy day here out in the field belly detecting uh didn't even bother um filming the vdi numbers i didn't expect to find something that fast uh we got a piece of copper or brass looks like some old copper or brass that was in the ground too so that's a start i wasn't going to film it it was in the 30s and it was kind of deep as you can tell by the hole pretty deep and it's very faint uh but here we go we got a little musket ball looks like that's the end there uh yeah i don't think that's a 22 but it could be a 22 that routed out pretty well or it's a musket ball so looks like a musket ball that hit something okay we got a really old bolt i'm not sure if i even showed the vdi numbers but it was showing like 55 but definitely in the iron range but it was solid target so that's why i wanted to dig it up and right nearby where the house site was here uh we've got ourselves a really old i can't tell the age but uh can't see if it has threads or not or we used to have threads or if this is more of a pin a square pin it's definitely uneven looking uh maybe forged but uh about it actually looks actually <laughs> looks a little flat and a little flat so maybe a square bolt and a square head solid iron we're in the vicinity of the home site so let's see what this iron piece is here the dot but it's in the ferris area so let's check it out i'm not sure what it is it's like a metal shark tooth but uh got a little lip there and uh it almost looks like it was purposely set up as a triangle here because it looks like there's an edge right there but not quite sure what do you think that is Okay, we're in an area where there's a little bit of glass not a lot of glass but a little bit of glass a little bit of porcelain uh kind of scattered nothing enough not enough to really make me think something's right here as far as the home site just scattering of stuff but uh slowing down a little bit because i know the home site would would have been this area here we're gonna dig up some of these iron targets to see what they are well okay i'm not chasing it anymore so we'll move come back to it if uh we decide to start chasing more iron targets time to get back to more non-ferrous targets 57 59 56 four inches down let's get it look at that dot let's see what it is brass maybe i found a little bit of iron on the surface nearby i'm not sure what that is but we definitely got this out ha we just got one of these yesterday Matter of fact, I think that's the hole we just got that one of those at. So it's got teeth going down the side. I don't know if you can see that. It's got one hole right there. It's green. It's got teeth on that side too. But uh, we just found one of those. What is that? Kind of reminds me of uh, a comb for a brush for horse horse hair. Uh, they call it a curry comb or something like that. I don't remember what they call it. But uh, what do you think that is? Sorry, I'm trying to block the wind here, but we got bits of window glass. We got little bits of blue glass, little bits of porcelain, little bits of iron. That looks like a square nail to me. Look at that, definitely a square nail. So what do square, na square na nails mean? Yeah, I forgot to speak. So something was possibly assembled with a square nail, so, or window glass. So, yeah, that we're possibly gonna find some more iron right here and maybe some other relics. Got a repeatable target, so six inches, <laughs> six inches down. If it's iron, it could be much deeper than that, but uh, it disappears when I raise the coil. So I mean, sensitivity set to 22 right now, so Let's try it. If it gets too deep, we're gonna skip it. I see it. There it is. Another large spike. Check that out. You need nails and spikes to put, put a building together. Well, not always, but uh, it's commonly used. So look at that, you can see Slightly squarish, rectangleish—that's the word. 
What do you think, nail people? I'm pretty sure that's probably hand forged. So, about it. 44, 46, 42, 45, eight inches down. Mixed between ferrous, non-ferrous. Could be another um, iron nail, maybe. Kind of giving us a, a trick here. So let's see what we can find here. Well, I'm glad I dug this. Um, it was a strong signal, so I probably was gonna dig it anyways. But do you see what we got here? We got a coin. It's thick. That's a thick coin. Look at that. Okay. We're going to look at this together. You ready? What do we got? We got an Indian. Yeah. What year do we have? We got a sander blowing in my face. Let me get back with you on this. Okay, I got an extremely broken signal here, but uh, you know, just found some interesting things with some high tones that if I slowed it down, uh, yeah. So, anyways, <laughs> I tug this. And this is what I got: it's a giant spike with a square top to it. Uh, it's definitely rectangle shaped. You can tell here, so it's hand forged I believe and uh, could that have been used for like a wagon or something or connecting things big things obviously so found it okay so we got a bit of porcelain we got a bit of iron iron nail we got melted glass so this was not on the 1877 map so it's possible that they had a fire that's why it's not here anymore but uh there's i did find some other melted glass too um not a lot of it but just a little bit of it so it could have been something they just burned and melted or that's you know remnants of the cabin i do see a lot of broken glass window pane glass and other glass that's not melted so um yeah who knows uh they know i don't but uh we are in an iron patch definitely some iron on the, on the surface with a rusty nail and a few other things we found that were iron so we'll keep looking well i got a sketchy signal didn't bother filming it and here we are it looks like another pocket knife check that out the blade's all rusted in here and this is the the frame there's a rivet there's another rivet so we got another pocket knife that's awesome it's kind of getting crumbly a little bit but uh that's really cool. There's also beer bottle glass and uh, oh, there's some other porcelain down here. Oh, here it is. Crockery. So we're in the right spot. Just keep looking, right? Picking up a uh, signal here. See what it is. Four inches, or excuse me, eight inches down. Let's get it. Got it right here. What is it? What is I know what that is. Do you know what that is? Stand by. I'll show you. Look at that. Uh, pretty sure that that's a pocket knife and it might be the other half of this pocket knife. Does that shape give it away as far as age? There's another rivet down here. This house site is on the 1864 map and not on the 1877 map. So it might be really old. Any pocket knife experts out there? Actually, it looks like that would be where the blade is. because It's rusty on the top. Hey, looky, looky. I know it's uh, broken, but bottle people know what that may be too. It looks like there might be a seam going up the side there. Do you recognize that? Got a little rainbow color to it. Lots of iron, but it's a dot. It's 21, 20, or excuse me, 22, 23, six inches, eight inches. Let's get it. It looks to me like uh, we got like a sketchy signal of 22 I think it was very hard to pick up um, kept changing signals on me but it looks to me like we have a little musket ball and it looks like you could see how uneven the seam was so this one had a, a flaw in it the seam is oh, sorry about the wind the seam is a little off there so 
Looks like a little musket ball. What do you think? Let's get it. See what it is. Okay, so I was a little skeptical. It's you know, it's creating pretty good. Um, I picked out a few different cans out here uh, in the you know, furrows. I uh, found a little bit of green glass here, but we found our target. Do you see that? Oh, I think that's part of a clock. The inside, uh, inside of a clock, what do you think? At least some sort of uh, mechanism. I don't know if it's old or new, but uh, it does seem like stamped items and riveted items. Anybody recognize that? Let's see what it is. 41, 42. Pretty repeatable. And uh, six inches. Hey, we got uh, a ring, sorta. That's an, I assume it's an old pull tab. So we're back to pull tab karma points again. Gotta collect enough uh, pull tabs in order to cash in on good luck. So there's our first. Wow, and just like that, start pulling out the pull tabs. More, more pull tab karma. Collect these and get some luck. I'm not quite sure what that is. Kind of looks like a small little pocket knife because of the flat edges, but that just could be a spike because it's definitely got some square squareness to it, rectangular shape to it. Uh, I know, got a, got a relic, we'll have to clean it up. It's going nuts. Let's see what it is. Okay, I got a really strong signal here. Uh, it was all over the place, so I was overloading the, overloading the mana core. But uh, I'm not sure if you can see this. Let me see if I can get a position so you can see it. You see what that is? That is. Protobell. But what's interesting about that is look how shiny that is. Uh, I've usually seen them like really dark and so forth. This is obviously the biggest one I've ever found. My gosh. That's that could be really, 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 really early. Like early 1800s, late 1700s. Anybody know for certain? Let's see if I can find the rest of the pieces in here. But that's badass. That makes my day.